one of the most accomplished engineers and producers in the music industry. Frank Filippetti has a list of credits as impressive in scope as in diversity. He began his career in the 1980s and has worked with top artists. Filippetti holds the distinction of being the first customer and owner of JBL's new M2 Master Reference Monitor. What our work sounds like, not to ourselves, but to the rest of the world, is totally dependent on what you hear at the end. And those two things are determined by the monitor. I've always been looking for, for better and better monitors. This is the most remarkable monitor I've ever heard, and um, it's changed the way I mix. This is something new. This, isn't, this is revolutionary. And I mean, it just, it, it just, the whole emotional content, the whole experience of, of, of the beauty of the music and the sound and, and the emotional content of the performance all came screaming through to me in a way that I'd never heard before. With this waveguide and the D2, um, several remarkable things happened. One, I caught all the detail. I heard a smoothness in the top end I've never heard on any speaker before, let alone a horn. You can, you can stand halfway between these two speakers, almost in the plane of the speakers themselves, and hear all the top end that you do when you're right in line with the drivers. I've never heard that even in a soft dome before. I've never been able to walk that far up and hear a dead solid center and all that high frequency information and detail literally almost in the plane of the speaker. And with all the spaciousness, they also have the hardest, deepest, strongest center that I've ever heard. And, and in fact, if you didn't know it, you'd swear there was a center channel there because it is so unique and direct and, and uh, focused. And with these speakers, I just, you know, it's like, it's like being a kid again. Everything now, I just can't wait to get it back here and listen to them on the speakers and start working on the mix. This goes, this goes out to mastering people, this goes out to film people. Everybody is fascinated by this. It's, it's totally changed my, my, my feelings about horn-loaded speakers, and it's also why I think this is a revolutionary speaker, not an evolutionary one. I think it's totally gonna redefine the way speakers are made from here on. All I know is no one has all of this right now ready to go.